In today's show, Bitcoin may pass $30,000. September lows, trader warns. I'll be breaking down the latest technical analysis. And as I shared this morning, Bitcoin bounced off 41,000 this morning, BTFD. And it was exactly one year ago on this date. BTC hit 40,000 for the first time, printing a massive $5,000 plus daily candle. And as pointed out here by Rec Capital, the Bitcoin capitulation event below the 50 week exponential moving average is in progress. And as Mikhail Vende Pop shares here, lost the support at 46,000, but sustained above the crucial threshold at 41,000. As long as that holds, we'll be fine for Bitcoin. Simplicity, more and more people are turning bearish, which usually happens. The closer we'll get to a bottom, just like bullishness grows upwards. And as Arthur Hayes shares here, the money printer ain't going brrr. So crypto is about to get bludgeoned with a two by four studded with rusty nails. I'll also be sharing the latest updates from Crypto Ed as well as Ambessa. Also in today's show, Vitalik proposes a new multidimensional Ethereum fee structure. That's right. The proposal titled Multidimensional EIP 1559 was laid out in a blog post on Wednesday in which Buterin noted that different resources in the Ethereum virtual machine have different demands in terms of gas usage. Quoting him here, the scheme we have today where all resources are combined together into a single multidimensional resource, which is gas, does a poor job at handling these differences. Also in today's show, Mike Navigratz warns that Bitcoin has much further to fall and shares his latest forecast. He says Bitcoin isn't done tumbling yet. Yet, and he predicts that Bitcoin could be bottoming out at around thirty-eight to forty thousand dollars. I'll be breaking this down for you. Also in today's show, the Veer Group CEO predicts three countries will adopt Bitcoin as legal tender this year. One upping Nayib Bokele, who predicts. Two, quoting him here, I am confident that the young maverick president, Nayib Bokele, is correct about the other countries adopting Bitcoin as legal tender in 2022, Green said, emphasizing the following, but I will go further still. I believe possibly three more nations will follow El Salvador's pioneering, future-focused lead into the digital age. We'll also be taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and all the major alts are currently correcting in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this, plus so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with a $100,000 Bitcoin price. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. And real quick, before I kick off today's show, today's episode is brought to you by BlockFi, the leading provider of financial products and services for crypto investors. They have a special promo they're running right now where you can get up to $250 in Bitcoin for funding your account today. And their flagship products include their BlockFi interest account, where you can earn up to a 9% APY with no minimum balance and no hidden fees. And of course, you can buy, sell, and trade the top cryptocurrencies instantly, 24-7, 360 and also have a BlockFi Bitcoin Rewards Visa credit card where you can earn 3.5% Bitcoin back on all your purchases within your first 90 days, then get an unlimited 1.5% back in Bitcoin on everything you buy thereafter. And they also offer crypto back loans where you can borrow against your crypto at rates as low as 4.5%, APR with no prepayment penalties, no impact to your credit, and receive the funds the same business day, truly making this a no-brainer. So go ahead and click my referral link in the description right down below and get up to $250 and Bitcoin for funding your account today. And let's start stacking those sats, shall we? All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm back in Puerto Rico. How's it going, crypto fam? Holla at your boy in the live chat. Now, Bitcoin scooped liquidity at new lows on January 7th this morning as 2022 continued to deliver uninspiring price action. As I pointed out here on Crypto Twitter, Bitcoin bounced off 41,000 this morning. BTFD, and it was exactly one year ago on this date, Bitcoin hit 40,000 for the first time, printing a massive $5,000 plus daily candle. Now check it. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Point Trading View showed Bitcoin hitting its lowest level since September overnight and reaching $40,938 on Bitstamp. The pair had initially bounced at $42,000, but then renewed its descent, surpassing the floor seen in December's liquidation cascade. And amongst traders, the discussion focused on a similar event occurring, with targets even including a crash below September's $30,000 lows. Like, whoa. As crypto analyst Crypto Edge shares here, Bitcoin filling the EW puzzle not there yet in my opinion, lowered the potential bounce area because a weak bounce yesterday could even go lower with a liquidation wick below September's lows. In case we break September's lows and weak bounce, pick two, 
is the risk as he charts out right here on your screen, which would take us all the way down to around that $30,000 mark. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this crypto analyst. And at those current levels, Bitcoin thus also threatened to disappoint trader Ambessa on the daily timeframes as he breaks down right here. Bitcoin price action explained, zoom in, bear flag channel support hit after the fake out, inverse head and shoulder support hit again for the second time. While I would tolerate a fake out to 39,333 intraday, this support right now, 42,400 should hold on the daily. Now, obviously, that did not hold and we broke temporarily right below it. Now, the macro odds were stacked against both Bitcoin and crypto. Commentators argued headwinds coming from, amongst other things, events in Kazakhstan, home to an estimated 18% of the Bitcoin hash rate. And following mass internet outages across the country this week, hash rate estimates began to show an abrupt dip of around 20 exahashes per second from where the previous all-time highs of 192 exahashes per second, evoking last year's China minor exodus. Now, looking forward, others likewise remain subdued on the crypto market prospects thanks to the macro economic policy. Among them was Arthur Hayes, the former CEO of derivatives exchange BitMEX, who pointed out that the U.S. Federal Reserve's scheduled rate hikes and reduced asset purchases are souring the allure for risk asset holders. Easy money, he wrote in a fresh blog post release, is essentially drying up. And as he points out here on crypto Twitter, the money printer ain't going brrr. So crypto is about to get bludgeoned with a two by four studded with rusty nails. Read my essay, Maelstrom, to find out why. Now, given the law of large numbers, a simple resumption of the previous trend and asset purchases will not cause the growth of the money supply to suddenly and sharply accelerate. Therefore, while risky assets would rejoice, crypto included, the best case is that asset purchases slowly grind higher towards their previous all-time highs. He claimed the following, even if that happens, the only way the crypto markets would move up is if the Fed publicly turned on the taps and then fiat flowed into crypto and it remains unknown when the Fed will raise rates while purchase reductions have already begun and checking out the latest from crypto analyst Mikhail Vende Pop lost the support at 46,000 but sustained above the crucial threshold at 41,000 as long as that holds we'll be fine for Bitcoin simplicity more and more people are turning bearish which usually happens the closer we'll get to a bottom just like bullishness grows upwards. So there you have it. And before I break down our next story of the day, Vitalik proposes a new multidimensional Ethereum fee structure, as well as Michael Navigratz warns that Bitcoin has much further to fall and shares his latest forecast, as well as the Veer Group CEO predicts that three countries will adopt Bitcoin as legal tender this year. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, there's blood on these crypto streets. BTFD, buy that freaking dip. You can see Bitcoin down 2.2% for the day, maintaining just above 42200 We have Ether down five and a half percent trading just above three thousand two hundred dollars while solana is down over six percent trading under 140 dollars luna down six and a half percent trading just under 72 dollars while polka dot cardano algorand binance coin xrp doge you name it is currently correcting and in the red but all right now let's break down our next story of the day ethereum co-founder vitalik buterin has put his thinking cap on again in an attempt to improve the current fee structure for the network the proposed titled multi-dimensional eip 15 59 was laid out in a blog post on Wednesday in which Buterin noted that different resources in the Ethereum virtual machine have different demands in terms of gas usage. He added that there are different limits for short-term burst capacity as opposed to sustained capacity with the Ethereum virtual machine, citing examples of block data storage, witness data storage, and block state size changes. The scheme we have today, he shares, where all resources are combined together into a multidimensional resource, which is gas, does a poor job at handling these differences. The problem is that channeling all the different resources into a single one leads to a very suboptimal gas cost when these limits are misaligned. He added, Buterin outlined his fairly complicated proposed changes with a lot of technical math, but in a nutshell, the proposal offered two potential solutions using multidimensional pricing. The first option would calculate the gas cost for resources, such as call data and storage, by dividing the base fee for each unit of resource by the total base fee. The base fee is a fixed per block network fee included in the Ethereum Improvement Proposal 1559 algorithm. The second more complex option sets a base fee for using resources but includes burst limits on each resource. There would also be priority fees, which are set as a percentage and calculated by multiplying the percentage by the base fee. He also stated that the drawback to the multidimensional fee structure 
future is that block builders would not be able to simply accept transactions in high to low order of fee per gas. They would have to balance the dimensions and solve additional mathematical problems. Now it remains to be seen whether the proposal will be passed since the priority at the moment is the next big upgrade. The Ethereum network is currently gearing up for the merge, which will dock the Ethereum blockchain with the beacon chain and effectively end its use of the proof of work consensus algorithm. Testing it already is underway with the King Sexy testnet and fully deployment is expected in the first quarter of this year. Now EIP 1559 was deployed in August as part of the London upgrade to burn a portion of the transaction fees in order to make the gas pricing more predictable. And since it went live, 1.36 million Ethereum worth approximately $4.7 billion at the current prices has been destroyed according to the burn ultrasound Dot money. So there you have it. What are your thoughts surrounding this proposal by Vitalik Buterin? And do you think the gas fees are ever going to be resolved anytime soon? Holla at your boy. Let me know in the comments right down below. I want to give a quick shout out to the president's private NFT collection, the first unique hand-drawn NFT portrait collection of 50 of the most powerful and well-known presidents from all around the world. You can check it out right here. Pretty cool, eh? And in the spotlight, they have been featured in some of my favorite crypto resources, including News BTC, Bitcoinist, and CoinSpeaker. And once the game is released users can participate in a competition where the winner will receive a handsome cash prize of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars so go ahead and click the link in the description right down below to check it out for yourself and please note this is a paid sponsorship so please do your own research and before i break down next story of the day mike navigrats warns that bitcoin has much further to fall and shares his latest price forecast as well as the vera group ceo predicts three countries will adopt bitcoin as legal tender this year but first let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap Sit and under that two trillion dollar milestone with 129 billion in volume in the past 24 hours and the current bitcoin dominance back at 40 percent even with the ether dominance at 19 0.2% and checking out the top gainers within the top 100. We have Cosmos up a whopping 19% for the day, trading at 43 bucks, followed by Harmony up almost 13%, trading at 31 cents, followed by CCXX up 12.6%, trading at $71. Now, which altcoins are you currently most bullish on for 2022? Let me know in the comments right down below. And checking out one of my favorite indicators is the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Shows were currently rated at 18 out of 100 in extreme fear. Yesterday was a 15, last week a 20 and last month at 28 in fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear can be a sign. Investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity like we're witnessing right now. BTFD, buy that freaking dip. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. Galaxy Digital CEO Mike Navigrat says that Bitcoin isn't done tumbling yet, as reported by Bloomberg. Navigrat tells NBC in a new interview that he foresees the Bitcoin price bottoming out at around thirty-eight dollars to $40,000. Now, the Galaxy Digital CEO is walking back his comments from last week when he said that Bitcoin could hold the $42,000 mark. Navigrat now says he's going to wait a bit longer before buying more cryptocurrencies, adding that blue chip investors are waiting in the wings for their opportunity to get in. Quoting him here, there is a tremendous amount of institutional demand on the sidelines. He ain't telling no lies. Now, the business tycoon and longtime crypto bull then says that a key part of Bitcoin's bull run in 2021 was the devaluation of fiat currencies around the world. The U.S. Federal Reserve recently announced it would be tapering its purchasing of bonds while raising the interest rates, which it is contributing a factor to Bitcoin's crash, according to Navigrats. Now, popular crypto analyst Mikhail Van Pop had a similar prediction as he tells his 550,000 Twitter followers that Bitcoin's crucial support level sits at 41,000. As I previously pointed out for you right here, do you agree or disagree with this crypto analyst? And do you feel that the low is currently in or do you feel will drop even lower potentially to 30,000? Let me know your honest feedback in the comments right down below. And before I break down our final story of the day, the Vera Group CEO predicts three countries will adopt Bitcoin as legal tender this year. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,000 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also have some helpful resources for you to plug into, including my new crypto merch store I recently launched, which can be found at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a daily letter that goes out to over 30,000 subscribers every single day. To subscribe, visit letter.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also have a blog I update daily, which can be found at cryptonewsyes.com. Also be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications that help me get to 100,000 subs because I'm currently correlated 
correlated with the Bitcoin price and I would love to see a six-figure BTC. And of course, you can follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms. We're currently receiving over a half a million downloads per month. You can find me on Spotify and iTunes. And of course, you can follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So wherever you're at, be sure to follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. The CEO of financial advisory and asset management firm, the DeVere Group, has predicted that three countries will adopt Bitcoin as legal tender this year. He is more bullish than El Salvador's president, who predicted that two countries will make Bitcoin their national currency. That's right. The CEO of DeVere Group, an independent financial advisory and asset management firm, predicted earlier this week that three more countries will adopt Bitcoin as legal tender in 2022. His prediction is more bullish than the one made by El Salvador's president, Nayib Bukele, the day before. Checking out Nayib Bukele's recent tweet, 2022 predictions on Bitcoin will reach 100,000. Two more countries will adopt it as legal tender. It will become a major electoral issue in U.S. elections this year. Bitcoin City will commence construction. Volcano bonds will be oversubscribed and a huge surprise at the Bitcoin 2022 conference. So that was his prediction. And then the DeVere Group CEO said, I am confident that the young maverick president, Nayib Bukele, is correct about the other countries adopting Bitcoin as legal tender in 2022, Green said, emphasizing the following. But I would go further still. I believe possibly three more nations will follow El Salvador's pioneering future focused lead into the digital age. This is because low income countries have long suffered because their countries are weak and extremely vulnerable to market changes, and that triggers rampant inflation, he opined. The Vera Group CEO added, by adopting cryptocurrency as legal tender, these countries then immediately have a currency that isn't influenced by market conditions with their own economy, nor directly from just one other country's economy. And Green further noted that cryptocurrencies could help bolster financial inclusion for individuals and businesses in developing countries. The DeVere boss concluded, due to their similar reliance on remittances, amongst other factors, other countries, including Panama, Guatemala, and Honduras, could also adopt Bitcoin. So there you have it. Which three countries do you feel will likely be next to adopt Bitcoin as legal tender this year in 2022? Let me know in the comments. Right down below. And now for a quick recap of what I cover with you here in today's show. Bitcoin may pass $30,000 September lows, trader warns, as well as Vitalik proposes new multidimensional Ethereum fee structure, as well as Michael Navigratz warns Bitcoin has much further to fall and shares his latest forecast, as well as the Vera Group CEO predicts three countries will adopt Bitcoin this year as legal tender. But where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from the previous episode, Inner Dino wrote, thanks JV, excellent show. I love the news on El Salvador. He's welcoming all freedom loving people. That's us freedom and peaceful people. Inner Dino, cheers fam, yes indeed. El Salvador is changing the game right now. Much respect and love to Nayib Bukele for leading this decentralized revolution. And our next featured comment comes from Vilma de Moreno who wrote, first of all, let me tell you that your videos are so useful for me because you speak and show the text at the same time so I can understand everything you say for non-English speakers. This is so important. Thank you very much for doing that. You're very welcome. Cheers, fam. Greatly appreciate your feedback and support. One love. And our third and final feature comment comes from Pokeman who wrote, Hi JV, enjoyed your show, but missed it live. People need to stop freaking out and relax and look at the long term. We are still in a bull run. Buy and hodl. This has been my game and has paid me well. Take care. God bless you and yours. And God bless the Crypto News Alerts fam. Exactly fam. When in doubt, zoom out, chill, relax, and stack sats. You got it, bro. Hodl. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me inside this incredible crypto matrix. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell. Help me get to 100,000 subs so we can get to $100,000 Bitcoin price. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.